Hello guys, here's Madame OK and today I want to show you how to paint a landscape with the waterfall. So we will start with the line that indicates kind of ground here. Okay, even slightly under the angle would be more interesting. Now we have the line of the trees and the ground somewhere here and then we have nice mountain in the back. Very important that you will bring the mountains here. See like this and I think they will be covered with the with the uh, trees. We will have trees coming here in this line. That's no doubt about it. And now the water, well, there's a first layer of the, let's see, that will be a stream. Then we have here the layers of the rocks. Here, I think we'll put another rock here. Like you see the wall. Then we'll have something happening here. Then we have another another layer here. And I like this layer coming here. So it's quite a bit already to show. So let us start with the first color. And I want to go to the sky and just lightly, lightly brush it there to have it already done with some of the blue color. I can use brush, can use palette knife, but palette knife probably will be, well, let's see. We certainly can go with palette knife. Here, like this. So my family is preparing the dinner for the Mother's Day, so we have to anticipate some sounds of the dishes placed on the table. I hope you don't mind it. In the second, I will be probably called to the table, so I have to make sure that I will paint as much as possible, even even anticipate I will be able to finish it fast. And those paintings have to be done quite fast, right? Because they have to be spontaneously painted. Guys, you have our sky here. Mm -hmm. With all the strange colors moving one into another one, and that's okay. Little bit of indication of the color here. Then we can work on the mountains. And the mountains, I want to have a little bit of these grayish colors that I already have here mix, mixture of blue, blue, white, and a tiny bit of black, and even brown. So you see, my mountains is coming here, the first one, or maybe even higher. Why not? I just have to notice where the light comes from again. I want to have a light coming from this direction. So from the right side, so I will place a little bit more white or maybe even a little bit of orange. Who knows? Yellow. Some of this coming here. And a little bit more on this side here. Maybe this is a little bit too bluish. Moving the lines here a little bit on the other side, over there. And then we have to have a little bit of the green because this is the section when we only have the trees. And this, this line should be a little bit on the cool side. Okay, so our green is almost like a blackish green. Then I would suggest that we put a little bit of the ground here, which would be a lighter color sandy almost some rocky color here right and again remember we will come back to everything right it's not said that it's already finished I think we want to have some of those cars as well as here in the front and then the water will come over there so now with the green trees See, I want to have some other colors here as well. I don't want to have it one just green color mixed with black. I want to show the differentiation here. Now, there will be some other level of trees coming on this side here. I'll just apply first a couple of lines. And I have to go definitely with skinny ones later on, but just for myself, the, the information, what's going on, okay? 
We'll have some of those cars come in here. They can moss almost. Right here. And then we have this grayish blue color that has to be repeated on our mountains. We move to our mountains again. Or maybe not mountains, we'll work on those rocks here. So I need to have this color applied here, but it will be a color mixed with black and this time I can use on one side a little bit of purple. I think that will be a good combination. Mm -hmm. You can see what is going on. It will be a little bit lighter on the top. Okay, and then definitely the water will come here. And the water that I want to have, see it's quite bluish. <laughs> we put some lighter colors later on the top, but not yet. See, so this color is coming here. I really want to have it stronger applied. And there will be my rocks coming here. So this color will change here dramatically. See, I apply a darker color. And then in this darker blackish color, which I have here, I will apply some other colors. So you see, I need this here as well. I need this dark combination. Okay, this, this part here coming on the top has to be lighter. For sure has to be lighter. See, there are my rocks, the tip of my rocks. Still a little bit darker there where they cross each other. This is showing this side. Look at this here. And the rocks can get a little bit of the yellow color and the brown. Now again blue. Like this. Okay. Mm, my family. Making the dinner, having fun. They are almost ready with the dinner, so I have to really speed up here. how I work a lot to work with palette knives because I can get these very interesting textures and mark making that is a little bit unpredictable at a certain point unpredictable and I like that I like the quality of it Okay, so this side will be darker, the top will be lighter because the light is coming from the right side, and now we can work with the water. This layer here, I don't want the water to look like mountains, I have to make sure that my palette knife is really, really, really clean. Okay. And I want to add a little bit blue into my water. And the reason for it is that um, it's in the shadow. So the shadow, see like this. When the water is in the shadow, of course it doesn't, it's not perfectly white. Okay, like this, up to here. Then we will move the water here. And then we have to move to the other part here. Whoa. In the second, uh, not yet, but we will move to the brush as well. Because it will be too difficult to work on small details using, using palette knife, sorry. Okay. Very good. And then we want to come, this is the surface of our water. And now we can really lighten it. Because this is where the water will be really, really light. 
So this whole section here can be much lighter. From the start using the brushes, I have to make sure that the water will be a little bit darker following the ridges of the rocks. So it's a little bit darker here. And we also I want to come with some of the colors of the rocks. So you see like this. And then I definitely want to come with the rocks on the side. Yeah. A little bit of it here. And then the blue. Like this. And then certainly darker here. I want to bring some of the brown. then some of my lighter color. Yeah. So you see this will be a good addition. Then I definitely need to have super, there will be super light in this section, will be darker here. And I want to come, let's see, we have this very lovely color, which I really want to pronounce in this section, this lighter one. And I want to do very much the same on the sides. There when I have, you okay, see this side here, since I brought this color here, I definitely, oh, the same will happen on this side here. See this little bit of the, of the brownish colors, the same on this part here. I have to come here. See those ridges, rocks, very, very, very important. The same here, tiny bit more. Okay, tiny bit more of it, definitely darker, darker here. Then we will come with another set of rocks here. Aha! Uh -huh. And another set, and another set. See, not perfectly even remember that they're rocks, so they can't be, they can't be really rounded. Then we have to have our rocks. So you see, we have to put those lighter colors all over here. So we place the lighter colors like this. We put the lighter colors here. We put the lighter colors there. Again, slightly here. See what is happening? It's just looking really good. Okay, so. Everything it's about thinking about the planes. I always uh, always talk about those planes. Planes are the key. When you paint the rocks or anything, anything what you paint, when you paint the face. So you see like this, like this. And then definitely rocks here. We have dark rocks here. A little bit more of it here coming. See, that's everything that's coming. It's just a matter of, of knowing about, again, the planes. That's all what you want to look here for. Okay, I definitely need the brown here. And I will have maybe a tree here coming from below. Who knows, maybe. See, definitely here we need another rock. And I want to have this rock done with some warm colors. See, like this. bit of cold a brown color here to emphasize the edges of my waterfall like the, the rigid parts of the mountains uh, not of rocks sorry see this blue will come true so I want to show my waterfall that you can really see those colors of the rocks through like this 
and then maybe even like you see here will be even one make like this true you see like this but not too much paint and then this definitely this section has to be lighter so I'm going on the top here and create with this buffy yellow ochre color depends depends which brand we look at see I'm applying some of those colors here and we definitely need some other colors here in the rocks we can't just have black right so you see it's getting richer and richer and richer so I want to bring some brown as well need more of the brown on this side here and bringing it through those wow, this, wow look at this tiny bit of black mixed with purple bringing on the bottom here see like this and then lightening it here for sure See, I'm looking here for the for those rocks. Then you can apply some green here as well. A bit kind of mossy color, but this will be okay here see and then we want to do the same maybe on this side here to indicate that there was something greener here coming maybe even on those rocks here see there and then definitely here so i'm coming now with um, black mixed with green because i want to have those darker darker parts of the trees it's always on the bottom it's darker darker you see in some places even like a ghost coming here and then this section will be lighter but I want to have some of it here like this okay so it's very very rich a little bit of the purple I love purple see so then when I have green I always have to have purple a little bit of it see this is good this is looking really nice now this part of them of the trees I want to bring them here with some green See, coming on the top, coming here, but not so much. So I'm using my brush now. Let's see, I have to go first with white now. So I see this beautiful section here, and I definitely will come with more white, you see? So this is the top of my water, really, really heavy. Now, when I come with the water, it's another section in which I want to have really pure white. There will be some sections here in which the white still will be visible you see coming like this here and then this sections here there will be a pure blue and white okay so i certainly can go with this part there you see i can bring this water coming here and i will bring my water coming down in this section here maybe a little bit well i'm not so sure about the black if i need black in it probably will be too much so i need to go here with the water okay and definitely here is a little bit more of the blue this display see so like this definitely more white here and some of those nice whites coming here so it's quite a nice play when you look at this and this um waterfall Whoa, so many different colors we have. Whoa, I really like it. See, I'm, I'm a colorist. I love to see lots of colors. I like to see this is this is a little bit too much. So I have to go back and, and change the color because that doesn't work here so well. See, so I'm bringing some other colors here. I have to tone it down. Maybe I bring some darker color. Definitely not here. 
too much, but we have to experiment. You see, we have to experiment to see what will work, what won't. Right? So you see, always darker here underneath. Always a little bit darker by the edges. Always darker by the edges. Definitely in such sections, definitely here. See, like this. And here. Now, I need to work on those trees now. Oh, yeah, yeah, because those are underdeveloped. See, even blue can come just a touch here and there. Then my green will come, the lighter version. Still not perfect. See, lots of lots of different colors. <coughs> and when I work here on this green in front, I do need to have some lighter colors because the light will hit them in this section. See, and this, this one is a little bit darker, maybe just a little bit on the tip here. We can have it just a little bit light, but not too much. Power. And now, using smaller brush, I will be able to go and develop them. So, I'm going here with my smaller brush. See, I create those very interesting points. A little bit of purple as well. I, I love purple. I really, really think for the painting, we need to have, we need to have purple for the landscape. That's for sure. Okay, those trees are very nice. Now we need some brown and I need brown because we want to see some of those trunks and I make them of the warm color on purpose because I want to have some tonal contrast here. Not so you see like this and then I'm coming here with some of those branches crossing, crossing, maybe even a little bit darker. Okay, maybe even a little bit of purple in it. Right, would be good. Like you see, like this, like this, like this, to indicate in the direction. And then we we'll put green again back. See, like this. Little bit, and then green is coming. Green is coming. So you see, I like to apply a little bit heavier layers because we have already enough indications of whatever we wanted to have. So you see, definitely here. And definitely here. See, heavier, heavier, heavier. I still want to apply a little bit of purple in my lovely trays. Okay, like this. And then I put some, believe me or not, some, some lighter tones here. Using my, um, you can say, in case of oils, you would say Naples color. In case of acrylics, I would say use the buff color. Buff would be a good choice. See a little bit of my iridescent color here. That's my green. And I think it will add to those trees, especially in the light. See, so I'm even putting a little bit more. I like to experiment. I like to find the new ways of working. And I think this will be a very nice combination. You see, really thick, 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 thick. And then, and then definitely my purple in it. Okay. See, like this, coming and changing the things, playing, because everything is about having fun. When you don't have fun, what's the point to paint, right? Now, the next step will be the mountains here. And in those mountains, I still want to come here just a little bit on the rocks, you see, and indicate that they go the opposite way. With very little of paint, like you see, just, just, just tiny bit and bringing this emphasis underneath here. See, do you really indicate there's another plane going on now, right? You see the same here, we do have it. Here, yeah, even a little bit more. You see, this section could be darker for sure. See here, very good. See, even here, I can make it darker. Okay, and then coming here, I really want to finish it. Okay, I want to bring some of those green, this different mixture here, but not even. See, I love to play with it, like this. Mm -hmm. Like this, and also here, in those sections, oh, oh, oh. look at this. We'll have some of the rocks. Coming here, and 
and this is the the other trees you see on the top i indicated the other trees and now we have to look for the mountains so something like this and what's this part here huh. i think i have to change it i have i have to change this part here see looking more like this okay so rocks the mountains are quite nice they don't take over our painting very good i just will darken some of them here and there and and i think we will be ready to quit our painting so you see just a touch I'm showing the ridges on the mountains Okay, so you see here I'm going and I'm trying to make this mountains. This is too warm color, the blue. So I try to change it to a color that will work for me. And I think I have to use the other blue. See here, yeah, this is a better blue. And then I definitely have to come with white, a tiny bit of black. See, gray to change it. But I don't want to have a one even color. That's important to me to realize that the mountains have those different different planes and and those planes also have to be represented with slightly different colors so you can see it looks uh, that the painting looks better and better and better okay and uh, there was a number of times when i went back and forth because this didn't work or this didn't work but in second i i prevailed in the way that i was not afraid to try and even accept that it was a mistake and i when i fixed it right Now this is good, but maybe this is a little bit too long, so I'm coming here with some green as well. See on this part here, like this, just on the tips, yeah, like this. And then I have to look at my sky if I like it or not, but even then, you see, I still want to come with some of this crazy white here. And I really, really like what is going on. Let me see this white coming here like this. I, you see, I'm showing some of those directions. Mm -hmm. I really like it. See, now just the sky. I have to decide for the sky if I like the colors, but actually, you know what? It's so busy that when I will do something else, maybe, maybe this will work. Let's see. Let's see what will happen when I bring some of the white into it. Just a little bit mixing. Actually, that's okay because I don't have really pure white anymore on my brush. I can bring a little bit of pink. Oh, that's too much red. I don't want to have it such a strong red. See, just just going here like this. And then Still unify it and tiny bit, tiny bit darker on the top. See, just a little bit here. On the, or maybe bringing the line in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure now. I have to move this mountain a little bit more. I still have to, like, you see, that's what's happening. We bring certain changes and then. They are the other ones that you have to introduce so you see right away right away i like this brown here mm -hmm. actually it added something to our painting just very little mm -hmm. i think it a little bit sharper going here it's going there behind like this Yep, look at this. I don't want to have so much white and on the top. Just a little bit indicating that it's the peak maybe here. Just a touch. Mm -hmm. 
see like a matter of seconds everything changes depends on the stroke depends what you put in right away okay i think i can call it quick this time what do you think still a little bit of brown maybe here brown or darker color here I think I can call it quit. I think so. Otherwise I will work and work on it and work. Okay, so this is done and I'm quite happy with the results. So then the last thing which you want to do is to take the masking tape and see how the painting will look like. Okay. So let us go for it. Oh barely seen there's almost no light in this spot. Okay, good. Look at this, and that's our painting now. Oh, I can see one spot needs still a little bit of work, and not very much, it needs, needs to be covered here. So you see, just like this, perfect. So I hope that you enjoyed working with me, and now you have a chance to work on your own painting. Have a good day, bye.